Eighth Global Family Office Investment Summit. We are here uh, with another distinguished guest uh, of this event with uh, Mr. Pazdar from Acredo IoT Securities. It's good to have you here, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, first of all, before delving into what you are doing with your business, what is at the core of your business, why are you here in Dubai? Why it is so important to take part in this uh, uh, event uh, hosted by the uh, uh, Ritosa uh, Family Office? Well, uh, we are a global platform, so it's very important for us to have uh, partners and presence in, uh, a, uh, in every region of the world, and this is a very critical region that uh, we feel we want to uh, service uh, fairly immediately upon the availability of our platform. So this event gives you a sort of gateway to the GCC region, right? It gives us a gateway to partners that we think are going to be the right kind of partners to help us uh, uh, enable this region with our service. Which kind of service uh, do you provide your customers with? It is related to Internet of Things, but in which sense? Sure. Internet of Things technologies have a very, very different operating model from traditional security tools. So Internet of Things technologies are uh, non-standard, they're purpose-built, they're highly distributed throughout the world, and uh, ultimately there are very, very limited resources prevent them from really being able to take advantage of any of the current cybersecurity models available today. So this poses a problem because Internet of Things technologies have seeped their way into everybody's life. Uh, and this creates a new attack surface. This creates a new exposure and vulnerability that uh, could have a dramatic impact as they uh, continue to grow in numbers. Um, there are 8 billion mobile phones in the world today, and the mobile phone markets are completely saturated. Uh, even in its infancy, Internet of Things technologies, right? now, number three times that of mobile phones, and uh, it's only just the beginning. So this has created a new exposure, this created a new vulnerability that needs to be addressed with a different type of solution than what currently exists. So even if it sounds strange in the future, a uh, um, cyber attack uh, could target my fridge or my uh, dishwasher or any other electric appliances to uh, disrupt the way I'm living, right? Well, not just could, it already has. Three of the largest cyber attacks known to date have been based on uh, leveraging the exposures and the vulnerabilities of Internet of Things technologies. And that number is slated to grow, uh, especially when you're talking about Internet of Things technologies being involved in surveillance, being involved in automated door locks, being involved in medical applications. So it is not a potential, it is happening today. How much um, everyday people, the everyday man is aware of such a problem? Because everyone is rushing uh, to uh, buy new smart appliances, but then they do not how to protect them. So this is a repeat of something that's happened as we run across pivotal technologies. They focus on functionality, then they focus on performance, then they, once they've got it in and implemented and are using it, they realize the type of threat and exposure and vulnerabilities they're running across. So based on that, uh, right now we are right at the cusp of organizations and people realizing the level of exposure that exists and realizing that uh, no meaningful solution exists with any of the current options to address this problem. Um, lastly, we have talked about extensively the dangers of Internet of Things, but given that you have already mentioned 24 billion appliances that are all wired up throughout the world, what are also the opportunities that such a revolution is um, bringing about? 
Uh, certainly. Well, the opportunities are very clear, and these are the things that people are taking advantage of. The smart homes, smart buildings, smart cities, self-driving cars, uh, medical, both implants and wearable platforms uh, or technologies that uh, really help uh, to uh, either make delivery of healthcare much more efficient or introduce completely new ways of curing things that uh, historically have been uh, either difficult or impossible to cure. So the benefits are there, but in, in, in this new opportunity, there's a little bit of chaos that has emerged, and that's one of the problems we set out to address. Well, sir, thank you very much for this chat. It has been a pleasure to have you. Thank you again. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you.